Hey Derek, um, I saw your video on the, the CG issue you're having. I wanted to uh, try to help you out a little bit if I can. Um, first off, when you find when you go to find the CG in your plane, <clears throat> you got to build your entire fuselage, your tail on, your servos, you put your battery on top of the plane where you want it because obviously you haven't cut your hatch yet um, when you're first building it. Put your battery where you want it, just sitting on top. Have your speed control sitting on here. Have your motor mounted, prop on, everything. Try to get everything as, as close to how it's going to be when it's flying uh, as you can. Okay. And then you're going to take your wing. Okay. And, and your, your, where your spar is should be the highest point on your wing. That's going to be where you want your CG at. Okay, so the easiest way to do this, put your wing on the table, and balance your plane on your wing. Okay. I always balance mine a little nose heavy. Because you don't ever want a tail heavy plane. Um, a tail heavy plane is impossible to fly, um, and if you actually do get it in the air, it's going to be really difficult to fly. So you don't ever want a tail heavy plane. Um, so I get it. I get it as close as I can. It's just barely nose heavy, which is good. Give it a little up elevator, uh, a few clicks of up elevator, uh, should get the plane to fly perfectly level. Um, and it'll be nice and stable for you. Um, the other thing to think about, here's something to think about. Where you put your servos in the back is, is going to greatly affect this. And the reason being, if you think about it, from your CG mark, okay, right now my servos are, mm, let's say 13 inches away from my CG. Okay, yeah, these are only like 9 gram servos. I think they actually weigh like 11 grams or something like that. <clears throat> but at 13 inches away, on this, on this balance point, it actually, it, man, it's like double. It's like double that weight that you have to put on this side, only 6.5 inches away, in order to compensate for that. So you can, you can definitely get your CG where you want it, because it looks like you probably want your wing farther forward. Um, which you can do, but you're going to have to have your battery way forward, and you're probably going to end up having to move your servos all the way forward to get weight off of that tail, and maybe make your tail section smaller, and, and there's all types of things you can do, um, but really, I think the best thing to do, mount the wing back, mount the wing where it wants to go with your CG. I make mine a little, a little nose heavy with the battery, um, in its farthest back position so that way I always have the option to, to to move it around or try to get it like in the middle of where you want it and get it to balance. I probably could have put my wing a little further forward about a half inch forward um, would have been fine but uh, so that's it I really hope that that helps um, I hope I didn't give you too much information and confuse you uh, with the whole where your servos are but if you think about where stuff is you know, you're trying to get a balance between your plane. And if the front end weighs exactly the same as the rear end, then the wing, the CG with the wing would be right in the middle of the plane. Um, but obviously that's not true with where your battery's at and stuff like that. Your front end's going to weigh more. So you're going to have to make this end shorter and this end longer uh, with this, with, in respect to your wing. Um, so try to think about it like that. And that should hopefully help you. And, and, and that way in the future, if you want to design something that look, that's, has a specific look, maybe with the wing farther back or, or farther forward, um, then you can kind of figure out, you know, if you got all this stuff in the back, you got to counteract that in the front in order to get CG where you want. But for this plane, um, it works really good. You just, like I said, just get it to balance. Uh, I think my leading edge is about seven and a quarter inches. Yeah, my leading edge is about seven and a quarter inches, and then I got my battery flap to uh, put my battery inside. And it works out good. 
Uh, great plan, great flying plane. Good luck with your build. Um, I can't wait to see it in the air. Uh, I checked out some of your other videos. Uh, I saw that you're into helicopters. I'm also into helicopters. Uh, I'm actually selling my 450 right now because uh, I'm going to uh, hopefully start a quadcopter project soon. Um, and I want to get into a 500 uh, eventually. But uh, right now, planes are, planes are really taking up all my time. I'm really enjoying this plane especially. Check out some of my videos. Uh, I, got, uh, I just did skis this weekend so I could land on grass. Uh, that worked out really cool. Um, yeah, so check out my videos. Uh, subscribe. And uh, if there's anything else you need help with, please uh, ask me or throw it on YouTube or whatever. I'll make a video or I'll answer your questions or whatever. Uh, it's a great part about this hobby. I, I love uh, learning from everybody else. And uh, I like teaching other people what I've learned and uh, what I do. So good luck and we'll see you.